Hey guys, welcome to Danielle Lounger's YouTube channel. That's me, Danielle Lounger. And today I want to go over this new iHome that I just bought. And I'm using it currently to help me wake up in the mornings instead of having the ability of just seeing snooze on my phone. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is the box that came in. The cool thing about this box is it actually says, if you read it down in the corner, it says actual size. So you can actually see that it will be actual size. So it's really cool. So you know that if you put your hand up against it, you can tell that it's actually going to be that size. So it says on here that it can charge up to two devices, has an ambient light, and it has a Bluetooth speaker. And it also says that nice and big here on the bottom. What it else it says is it has a clock display, and it also has two alarms that you can set as well as sure alarm backup battery. So in other words, if you use some type of battery you can put in the back, it'll help you when the power goes out so you don't lose your device or your time on your clock. So here's just a quick picture of what it looks like. And now we're gonna actually move on to the actual clock itself. So let's find out what's inside here. Okay, so here we have the actual clock. So once again, it is about the same size as it was on the box, which is really cool. And it has this nice eye home. Uh, as I put my fingers over it, it feels like the front of a speaker, just like a normal subwoofer or a speaker you would feel that you would have for like your TV. And here's what it'll look like once it actually has the right time. So I went through and set the time, but I'll show that to you here in just a minute as well. It does have uh, this extra ambient light, which is what it talks about on the box. So this is what the ambient light they actually talk about. Um, so you can turn that off by using this dial up here. So if I do that, it turns the ambient light off. If I turn it on, that's on high mode. So if I went and actually turned off um, my light that I have on here. So if I do that, so that's your ambient light. That's without it off. And then you can actually um, press and hold it to reset it to a low ambient light. So that's the light itself. Another setting is, is that it has two alarms. So here it is on here. So this is alarm number one and this is alarm number two. And when you want to pair it with your Bluetooth, so you can press and hold this button and it actually tells you in the manual that you get that you can pair it with that. So this also will act as a speaker and also when you set your alarms you can choose whether or not you want to set it to in a tone that's already pre-programmed with the iHome or you can go ahead and reset the alarm tone to something that's on your phone which is quite interesting on top here we can see that once again here's the night light that I was talking about this is the universal play button so if you're listening to music you can turn it off and on with that play button these are the plus and minus which is just like normal for volume so if you're listening to music you can turn it up and down but they also help you on when you're setting up the high home itself when you're doing the setting the time setting your alarm and any other functions and here's the snooze button nice and easy uh, the dimmer also it dims the front of the set here so it can dim it back or it can dim it forward and this alarm reset is when you want to reset one or both of your alarms. So let me show you real quickly where we go ahead and set up the time itself. So on this back here, there is a button called a timer set, which is this button here. So if you press and hold the timer set, like so, it starts flashing your time. So I can hit the plus button or the minus button to add time or subtract time. And the P means that it's on PM. Then I hit the time set button and this is the year that it is. So it's 2022. We are in the month of March at the filming of this video. It is March 13th. And then you sets to where you are. So that's how you set the time. Nice and easy, real simple, real easy to remember. And then if you want to set the alarm, then you go for me, I did alarm number one. So you come here and you're gonna press and hold the alarm number one button. So if you press and hold the alarm number one button, like so. So I have it currently set for 4.30 in the morning. 
you set the alarm button again. So I have it five times a day. Five times a day means it's going to do Monday through Friday. And then the tone is going to be either the tone or you can do a Bluetooth. So I'm doing it as per tone just because I don't want my phone always linked every single time. So then you come to the tone and it plays you a couple different tones. So I got that tone where I got this one. So out of those four tones, I like tone number two, which is that one. And then you hit the button again and you say, what volume do you want to play at? And I want it all the way up because I'm going to have it quite far away from my head. Hit the button one more time and it goes straight back to the time that it's at. And you can kind of see it here. Let me see if we can see a little better if I turn off the extra light here. There we go. Now you can see a little better. So in this top right corner is the alarm sign with the number one in it. So it tells me that the excuse me, it tells me that the alarm is set and it's ready to go. And if I had a second alarm, for instance, if I need an alarm to tell me, hey, it's time to go to bed, you know, at like eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock at night or whatever it is, I can set number alarm two. So there you have it. That is the iHome. The, at least the current version of it and actually so far so good I, I was able to hear it through my earplugs just because of the different types of tones and it's bright enough to where I have my head about maybe 10 12 feet away from it and I can still see it in the middle of the night so that is the iHome so there you guys have it that was the iHome if you want to go ahead and pick up your own version of this iHome you can find the link down in the description I'll see you guys later. Have a great time and I'll see you on the next video where we review a new product. Have a good afternoon.